Uh, can you hear me, Professor? Yes. Yes. Okay, I will start my presentation. Uh, hello, uh, I'm Maab, and today uh, the presentation uh, will be about uh, prompt engineering. Um, the outlines I will cover through this presentation uh, is an uh, introduction about prompt engineering and then go through zero shot and few shot uh, prompting. And then I will introduce um, one method for prompting engineering called generated knowledge prompting through this paper. Um, uh, Promote engineering is like a relatively new discipline in the field of the NLP, and it is about developing and um, uh, optimizing prompts to efficiently use like large language models for a wide uh, variety of applications. So, um, Uh, so with prompt engineering skills, uh, we can like better understand the capabilities and the limitations of the large language models and improve their capacity on like a uh, range of common and complex uh, tasks such like as uh, question answering or like uh, arithmetic re uh, reasoning. So um, prompt engineering also is not just like uh, about designing and developing like prompt. It also uh, involves a wide range of skills and techniques for interacting and developing the large language models and it is uh, important skills like to interface and will be and also to understand the capabilities of our like language models so uh, we can use the uh, prompt engineering to improve the also the safety of our language models to build new capabilities like uh, augmenting language models with uh, domain knowledge or uh, other external tools so uh, when we're working with uh, prompts, uh, uh, we will like interacting with the language model through like uh, API or directly. Uh, so we can configure a few uh, parameters to get different results uh, for the prompt. Uh, the first one we will discuss is the temperature, which is uh, one parameter that can like use uh, to control the level of randomness in the outputs. Uh, a lower temperature leads to more deterministic results and um, while a higher temperature encourages the more diverse or creative outputs. Like, uh, for example, uh, if we want to uh, use a lower temperature value for tasks like fact-based question answering to encourage more factual and concise responses. And like for uh, story generation or other like creative tasks, we might uh, need to increase the temperature uh, value. Uh, another parameter also is a uh, top B, which is controls the level of determinism in the model response generation. And uh, if we're looking for like exact uh, uh, and factual answers, we keep it low. And if we're looking for more diverse responses, we increase it to a higher value. Uh, we can also note here this uh, like the um, result also depend on the version of the language model we are using, not just like the parameters. Um, Promont uh, usually like, um, consists of uh, several uh, key elements. These uh, elements may include, like it not like, uh, um, may include an instruction uh, which outlines a specific task or the query that the language model should perform. Uh, also the context, uh, like the contextual information to guide the model towards more accurate and um, responses. And the input data, which like represents the question or the input that requires the response. And the output uh, indicator, which like uh, specifies the type and or the format of the desired output. Uh, but like uh, worth, uh, worth noting here, uh, not all prompts requiring uh, all these elements. The format and the composition of the prompt um, uh, can vary depending on the specific task. Um, so if we introduce a zero shot uh, prompting, which like uh, a technique or it is a way uh, the language model is able to generate text uh, output based on the prompt and uh, or instructions uh, that is not has not been explicitly trained on. So when given a prompt or instruction, the model can generate a text output based on it is uh, pre-existing uh, knowledge uh, or understanding of the language. Um, so for example, uh, if we like um, ask the model to um, 
completed the following month in 1492, Columbus sailed there. So uh, the model without any specific training on the history or geography can generate the output ocean. And uh, like based on its understanding of English language and the context of the prompt we give uh, to it. So another example also when we try to classify the text into its sentiment, uh, I think the vacation is okay. The uh, the model can generate like neutral without any like have any idea or anything. An example like this before. Uh, uh, instruction tuning, uh, one of the methods like used to improve the zero shot learning uh, by fine tuning the models on data set described uh, through instructions. So uh, it's more more like effective to uh, make the model understand the. Uh, makes a good prediction on the instruction that just see for the first time. And also like reinforcement learning from human feedback is used to scale this instruction tuning to align the model to better fit the human preferences. Um, so while large language models uh, like has impressive zero shot capabilities like uh, GBT3, uh, they still fall like short on more complex tasks when like using the zero shot settings. So uh, we introduced a few shot per mounting where the model is given a small amount of additional uh, training data, typically like a few examples or a few shots. And uh, it is related to a specific task or domain that is being asked to perform. So um, the idea like behind the few shot promoting that is fine tuned the pre-trained model is better to adapt that to specific task at hand while still like leveraging its general knowledge uh, uh, of language. So uh, this uh, fine tuning process is uh, referred as also meta learning because like the model is learning how to learn from small amounts of um, data. So uh, for example, like um, if we have like a few shot language model uh, could like um, give a few example of text uh, on specific uh, topic. Uh, if we like um, uh, uh, give him like some examples, uh, this example might include sentence like about uh, LeBron James is a professional basketball uh, player or uh, the NPA finals are the championship series of the National Basketball Association, then uh, our model or our few shot model could uh, like uh, uh, use these examples to fine tune its understanding of basketball related language. So allowing it to generate more accurate and relevant uh, text output relates to, the, to this uh, uh, domain basketball. Uh, also, like this is uh, another example where we um, uh, define a new word, what is a small furry animal native to Tanzania, an example of sentence that uses this, uh, the same uh, structure. We give them, uh, we give the model another word and uh, identify the word, then ask him to use this word in an ex an, an sentence. So it is the uh, same way. This is a one shot. Uh, example where we give him uh, just one example. So, um, uh, like few shot uh, prompting is like uh, very su uh, in successful and uh, in improving the performance on like a range of tasks, but it is still has uh, limitations. Like when challenging, when we try to, uh, it not, it will not may uh, like work well for more complex reasoning tasks and that required like uh, deeper understanding for, of underlying concepts. So in this case, the prompts like may not provide enough information for the model for to make it accurate predictions and uh, additional fine tuning is required. Uh, another limitation also like uh, the few shot prompting is like depending heavily on the quality and the quantity of the examples. Like for example here, these examples. So um, if the training example is not representative of the test data or uh, there is too few examples to capture the full range of the variability of the task or the question, the model may not perform well. So um, uh, Next, I will uh, introduce uh, when uh, method called like gener uh, generated knowledge 
promoting. Uh, I will introduce it through this paper generated uh, knowledge promoting for common sense reasoning. Uh, the idea of the paper is to investigate where uh, incorporating or uh, combining the external knowledge uh, can improve the common sense reasoning of the model while maintaining the flexibility of the pre-trained sequence models. So, um, it's try to generate uh, uh, a knowledge statement related to the question here, our question given to the model. So they use a large language model. Here they use GPT-3 uh, to um, generate a knowledge statement, then uses another language model, which uh, more like small and lighter model to make prediction with each knowledge uh, statement. And then selecting the high highest like confident um, uh, prediction as a final uh, answer or predictions. So, um, so uh, to generate the knowledge statements, they use a few short learning approach, providing the language model with a prompt. Task. So if we go do on this method, uh, which like uh, is a method for like answering uh, multiple choice, uh, we can say like common sense reasoning because like we have common uh, multiple uh, choices here. Um, the method involves like uh, two um, uh, main steps. Uh, the first step where the language model is used to generate uh, knowledge statement, which is helpful to, an to answer the question. This knowledge statement are generated based on the question and also it is like the variable length text sequences. Uh, in the second step with uh, the knowledge integration, uh, uh, where we integrate this uh, integrated knowledge statement uh, into the decision uh, process of the language model used for the inference and the model is used to predict the answer to the question uh, from a finite possible uh, uh, of choices like this uh, possible of choices then uh, the model takes into account um, both the question and the generated knowledge uh, statement when making in uh, when making uh, its prediction so when uh, if we compare it to the vanilla settings where we involved using the inference model without any generated knowledge uh, statement. Uh, in this case, uh, the model predicts the answer based uh, on the question and the va available answer choices. So um, if we see like uh, this is uh, an example of uh, how the model has a question, if we have like the question, uh, the word children means more squared or more kids, the knowledge here we give him uh, one uh, knowledge choice. Um, the prediction uh, is one without any uh, knowledge, uh, um, external knowledge integrated, and two with our knowledge. And we can see that uh, like uh, without our knowledge integrated, the one um, uh, probability is uh, higher than two. And uh, with the integrated uh, knowledge we have here, uh, the accuracy of the true like prediction is higher. So it is improved to, uh, to this aim to improve the accuracy of answering the multiple choice uh, question uh, by generating and integrating the knowledge statement into this decision process. Um, so uh, for the knowledge generation, um, the we gen like generate uh, the knowledge statement related to the given question we want to to generate its response. Uh, this process like involves the prompting of the language model with an instruction and fixed demonstrations and a new question placeholder. So. Um, the demonstrations are like human written and quiz, uh, consist of a question in the style of task and the knowledge statement that are, uh, is helpful for answering the question. The format of the demonstration is fixed for each task and uh, for a given task like uh, they use five demonstrations are written or selected from the training set. So each uh, each uh, question is paired with uh, a knowledge statement that is turned for a common sense problem posed by the question into explicit reasoning procedure without directly answering the question. So our goal here is to provide information, uh, helpful information to answer the question rather than providing the, uh, the answer directly. Like uh, if we see here, the word children means must or more kids, uh, we didn't give the final answer directly, we give an information that can help to make a good prediction. So um, 
to generate the uh, knowledge statement for a new question, the question is inserted. Um, as we can see, the question is inserted into the new question a placeholder in the prompt, and the language model is prompted to generate multiple like uh, continuations of the prompt. Uh, these um, like Q1 and like demonstrations, and uh, these continuations are then used as a set of the knowledge uh, uh, statement. We will pass it to the knowledge uh, integration. So if we go. Uh, through the knowledge uh, integration uh, in this uh, um, table, they just like have this. If we have the prompt uh, generate some numerical facts about objects, so we have this pair of question knowledge statement uh, pairs. Uh, as I said, they have five demonstrations to provide for each task. Um, so uh, for after we generate the knowledge statement, uh, uh, each one is uh, concatenated with the original question like we want to solve to, for, to form a multiple augmented questions. Uh, so uh, for each augmented questions, uh, the inference model is used to predict the probability of each answer. Uh, so you, uh, so um, then for each answer, choice uh, the highest probability um, uh, of all these augmented question is selected uh, this is like uh, uh, will be like then the predict uh, answer will be this then like finally we the selected answer choice with the highest probability is chosen as the final prediction and the knowledge statement used to support it is uh, selected knowledge statement so uh, this process allows the model to use the external knowledge uh, to improve its prediction without uh, requiring any additional uh, task uh, specific training. So um, to evaluate this method, they use four data set, uh, common sense, uh, numerous sense um, data set and common sense question answering data set and common sense question answering two data set. Uh, um, this uh, data set is, uh, uh, has a numerical statements like where the mass number must uh, be recovered using uh, like zero shot uh, inference models. And um, here we have like five uh, way data set about common scenarios or five uh, uh, um, uh, choices for the model. Uh, common sense question answering two is like a numeri uh, a binary classification. So uh, that is said to judge just the true or false of the statement. Uh, so just have two options. And the um, question answering science uh, that is said is has eight way uh, question answering that is it about like science and the background knowledge. So um, the inference model here, they are used, uh, they are uh, generated model and smaller model like as T5 and unified like uh, question answer and unicorn, uh, which are all generative language models. Uh, and to support the choice, uh, the inference model calculates the, the probability of the selecting uh, that choice based on the score assigned to it uh, by the generative language model. So, um, uh, the score is computed uh, by summing um, by summing uh, the algorithm of the probability of each token in the choice uh, given the preceding um, uh, tokens and the question. So um, they uh, compare our uh, method uh, to uh, different baselines, and um, I will go for and. Uh, for the evaluation here. So uh, they showed that uh, their method achieved a new like state of art performance uh, in the numerous sense with like improvement up, uh, around like uh, six percentage uh, over the previous method, uh, which was uh, based on the zero shot uh, T5 model. And uh, on the question answering, uh, 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 Common sense question answering too. They also like uh, improve uh, on the previous uh, um, uh, method. Um, uh, which like the other uh, among the non iterative uh, method. Uh, the, uh, this is uh, relative methods and uh, also like. Um, 
for the question answer uh, science, uh, they improve uh, for the um, unified uh, question answering model by like around um, three percentage. So uh, they analyze uh, the impact of the generated knowledge statement here we use like the number of generated uh, knowledge statement we use, uh, they analyze it, uh, its impact to the performance as we increase it. So uh, as we increase it, the quantity of the knowledge, uh, the, the performance is um, improved, but uh, it's saturated right around uh, 20 or something, it begins to decline again uh, when more knowledge statement are introduced. So uh, which like maybe uh, more noisy knowledge generated. So uh, they also investigate the impact of the knowledge, uh, the size of the knowledge generation model uh, uh, on the downstream performance, which uh, here they use GPT-3. So uh, we can see the performance like improve, um, uh, uh, in, in improvement as the size of the knowledge generation model is improved also uh, is increased. So uh, we suggest that larger models are able to generate more useful uh, knowledge. However, we can see like um, the improvement gain uh, here uh, begins to saturate also uh, as the size of the knowledge generation um, increases like uh, we can see uh, from here, it is not a, a big um, increase. So uh, we have to say, uh, they just suggest like a trade off between the model size and the performance needs uh, to be considered during the training. So um, we can see this, ex like uh, these experiments, like uh, demonstrate the more knowledge generally leads to better performance, as we can see, but there is a trade-off between the quantity and the quality of the knowledge. And uh, here, but also we can see. And the method can be enabled like lightweight inference models, as we see, like we use a T5 uh, model, which is a lightweight model uh, for the inference, and to achieve high performance and can also be applied on to larger models for even like better performance, as we, we use like, um, uh, so GPT-3 for uh, The internet is unstable. Sorry. So I will continue. So um, we can see that uh, here as uh, our model GPT-3 6.7 million and GPT-3 uh, 175 billion. Uh, here the like the improvement is uh, about five percentage. Uh, and here is right about 10 percentage. But like uh, here uh, in the smaller models, the, uh, they not like give a uh, significant improvement. So uh, it seems that uh, it is necessary, uh, it is not necessary to need use largest version of the GPT-3, but uh, we need like a large model enough to generate like uh, useful and reliable knowledge. So um, they also like conduct a human evaluation. Uh, they use the numerous sense and the question answer science uh, data sets to assess the quality of the generated knowledge and its impact on the task performance. So they use uh, four uh, matrices to evaluate the quality of the knowledge statement, the grammatical relevant, the factuality, the helpfulness like this. And um, uh, they like select uh, the, the selected knowledge statement were labeled like by two NLP experts. 
So the result uh, showed here that um, a vast of majority of the selected knowledge statement was grammatical and like relevant to the question. And uh, 83 percent of them were factually corrected. And um, 72 of the selected knowledge statement were helpful, like for answering the question. Um, but like we have like um, some uh, certain percentage were harmful also. Uh, also, like um, when the knowledge statement uh, certifies a model uh, predictions, uh, 93 uh, percentage were labeled as helpful, uh, while uh, 21 were labeled as uh, helpful when the knowledge statement here uh, is misleads the model predictions. Uh, but like we also have like a uh, certain nine percentage harmful uh, here. So this suggests that improving the knowledge factuality is like a promising path towards more helpful knowledge uh, integration. Uh, this is the end of my presentation and uh, I will happy to answer if anyone has a question. Okay. <clears throat> Mm, thank you.